Alright, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. In this video, I wanted to show you the process of being able to claim your rewards if you did participate in the Cardano incentivized testnet. So we're going to be taking a look at the new recently released Daedalus 2.1.0 and a couple of notable features that we see with this new version. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for joining me here today. To get things started, if you guys do find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. It definitely does help out the channel. If you haven't done so already, and if you wanna stay up to date with everything happening with the Cardano project, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you do have any comments or questions about anything that we're talking about here today, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. So this just in, out now we can see the new Daedalus 2.1.0. This is the first major update to the Daedalus wallet that introduces two new features. Uh, namely, it's going to be the incentivized testnet rewards redemption and spendable rewards. So we're going to be taking a look at that here in this video. I'm going to walk you through the entire process of being able to claim your ITN rewards using this new version for Daedalus. Now, first things first, if you haven't done so already, you want to make sure you go ahead and download this version for Daedalus. I will go ahead and leave a link for you guys down in the description below. That way you can go ahead and check it out. After you've went ahead and restored your wallet using your recovery phrase, you'll see your balance pop up here. And one of the things that I noticed right off the bat that's new with this version, we can see a really cool little piggy bank looking icon here with the ITN. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and this is gonna allow us to go ahead and redeem those incentivized testnet rewards. You're gonna enter in your rewards recovery phrase and this is gonna allow you to see that balance pop up. So now what we can see here, you can go ahead and type in that recovery phrase. I'll go ahead and do that here in just a moment. And then it'll ask us to select the wallet that we'd like to redeem those funds to. In this instance, I've got my Cardano tutorial wallet available. I'm gonna go ahead and port those funds over into this wallet for the sake of this video. And once we're done with that, we should see those rewards pop up in our available balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly type in my rewards wallet recovery phrase, and I'll be right back for you guys. Okay, now I went ahead and typed in my rewards wallet recovery phrase, and now it's asking to confirm this rewards redemption by entering my wallet spending password. After you've gone ahead and typed in your password, you can click on confirm rewards redemptions, and let's see what happens. Very cool, so incentivized testnet rewards have been redeemed. So you've successfully redeemed your balance into your Cardano wallet and this transaction incurred, it shows a transaction fee right below it. Let's go ahead and open the wallet. All right, very cool. So we can see here that the rewards have been transferred over into this new wallet balance. Uh, very cool, that's a very seamless process. It's super straightforward. Uh, you just wanna go ahead and click on the little piggy icon on the left with the ITN. You can type in your rewards wallet recovery phrase, very similar to the process of restoring any other type of wallet using your recovery phrase. You'll type in the spending password of the wallet that you would like to have those funds transferred into and you just click on confirm and that's it. So guys, very straightforward process. Now that we have went ahead and redeemed our rewards into our wallet, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different stake pools that we can potentially delegate to. So the tab here on the left, which shows the delegation center, very similar to what it was showing before. If we click over to delegation center, this is gonna show us our wallet with the available balance. And we can see here also on the right hand side, the prior stake pool that we are delegating to and the current stake pool that we are delegating to. So let's go ahead and click over to stake pools and I wanna see if I can actually delegate this ADA to Kaizen stake pool. So I'm gonna click over to Kaizen and we can see here that this is the stake pool here. Very straightforward to be able to delegate your rewards to your stake pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this option here which is gonna allow us to delegate. We'll go ahead and click on continue. So really nice, it shows us here the available balance. It shows us the stake pool we were delegating to previously. I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue and continued again down at the bottom. Now this is gonna ask us to enter in our spending password. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in that information. Once you go ahead and type in your spending password, you can click on confirm down at the bottom. 
And there we go. So we have our confirmation here. It shows that the stake from your wallet is now delegated to Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. Very cool. It does show us here as well that this will take effect after the current and the next epoch have completed. So let's go ahead and close out of that. So the process is very straightforward. I really like the user interface. Uh, it's very easy to go ahead and claim your rewards and go ahead and stake those right away so that you can start earning that compound rewards. So next thing I wanted to show you guys, so something that's very interesting uh, with this new version of Daedalus, as far as transaction fees and how those are paid, we can see here that this was the transaction for actually redeeming the rewards into my wallet balance. We can see this option here where it shows from rewards. So from what I understand, and I'm gonna to have to do more research into this, so this is actually spendable rewards. This shows us the address from which the uh, transaction fee was paid using those rewards. So I'm going to have to do more digging into this. I think a big topic of discussion is going to be how would this affect something like, say, taxes, for instance. You know, with a lot of times if you hold an asset and in the instance that you were to liquidate that asset prior to having held it for one year, typically that puts you within a higher tax bracket. So things like that, uh, it's going to be something that I'm going to have to do more research on. Uh, again, not financial advice. This is just me talking out loud and sharing with you all some of the things that I'm considering when it comes to these new features that we can see being implemented. So really like the user interface. I really like the process and how straightforward it is to be able to go ahead and claim your ITN rewards. So I would recommend you guys go ahead and try it out. Let me know how it works for you. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm also going to be doing my best to answer any questions for you guys down in the comment section. So if you do need help or if there's anything that you would like me to address, any concerns that you have, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.